the controversial Campbell oil development could soon be back on. The new field, 75 miles west of Shetland, was put on hold when Shell pulled its investment, blaming economic conditions and possible delays with official approval. But Russia's invasion of Ukraine has changed the circumstances and the energy giant is now reconsidering its position. Here's our political editor. As Scotland gears up to welcome up to 3,000 refugees from Ukraine, some of those who've already signed up to become sponsors say the process needs to be made simpler. The Scottish Government says it's working rapidly with partners such as the UK Government to welcome those fleeing the war. Stephen gordon has been speaking to people in Edinburgh who found the process more difficult than they expected. This evening, the Chancellor is putting the finishing touches to the spring statement that he will deliver to the Commons tomorrow. Treasury officials are adamant it is not a budget, but with the cost of living going up week by week, Rishi Sunak will be under pressure to deliver some good news. Well, our Westminster correspondent, David Porter, is outside the Treasury this evening. Um, David, any idea of what the Chancellor will do and say then? The UK and Ireland look set to be named the joint hosts of the men's Euro 2028. Unless there's a last-minute entry logged by tomorrow's deadline, UEFA will announce that the bid from the four home nations and Ireland has been successful. Well, our sports news, talk news, join me then if you can. Until then, from everyone in the team right across the country, do you have a very good evening. Good night.